The issues facing our future generations are complex. At times, they may seem daunting or even overwhelming. At The Tech, we prepare learners to tackle the world's toughest problems head on. Using a systems design approach, learners become innovative problem solvers. In these dynamic challenges, learners research, brainstorm, prototype, reflect, share, and iterate as they design a solution. You're getting a problem. And in this problem, you're thinking of different processes. You're also getting objectives on potentially how to solve this problem but you're not given an answer. And these students that are there with you as an educator, they're actually connecting not only by themselves, but with a team, how to actually solve this problem. I really like System Design Challenge because I feel it is, um, it allows students or learners to you know, design multifaceted uh, problems and solution. You know, there is no only one solution or one path to solve the problem. They can be different ways, like students can, um, a project where they can build stuff or they can only have like comic strip they can present their ideas in different ways we're connecting all the dots and seeing how something connects to something else in systems design challenges learners grapple with a real world problem that is part of a complex interconnected system this might mean protecting an endangered species increasing access to safe drinking water delivering medicine to remote areas, or using data to solve a local problem. Systems design challenges spark new interests and connect learners to the broader world. This multidisciplinary approach can be integrated with content to create authentic learning experiences. When they're actually seeing that information or getting that information and it's real, it's empowering for them, but it's also like it hits hard because they're realizing that it's not all about them. I knew there was some endangered species, but I didn't think there was this many endangered species. And it amazes me that this could happen from human causes. Using the non-linear innovation design process, learners will define a specific problem and understand how it fits within a complex system. They will imagine, create, test, and reflect as they prototype a potential solution. Throughout this process, learners also share their solution with others, continually refining and improving upon it. To me, there's a strong connection and correlation for when students actually go in there and look at a problem. And even though it's not necessarily, you're building it as an engineer, you're a scientist, they wear that hat. And in that process, they start using their creativity to actually help and create a solution. But it was really fun. It's like really cool collaborating with everybody and like working with other people and seeing their like ideas and stuff and how we all came together at the end and make like a really cool final like decision. I don't think I would have been able to um, think of a lot of the ideas that we all collectively thought of because a lot of them we build off each other and sometimes when I work alone I usually just try to uh, rush through it and get it done so it's good to have people there to slow me down and actually think about what we're doing and stuff. Design challenges encourage learners to be curious, perseverant, empathetic, collaborative, and bold. Systems design challenges push the application of these skills beyond classroom walls into their local and even global community. In the real world, typically when you're out in the workforce, there are problems. And when you think of problems, well, who is gonna be there to solve them? Eventually we want these students to have skills knowledge, experience to actually solve problems, to help others build solutions. This challenge, I've enjoyed like brainstorming and uh, finding solutions. At their core, systems design challenges build learners' problem-solving capacity and self-confidence, preparing them for careers of the future and empowering them to create change for global good. As the years go by, they're probably gonna apply it in real world. Whenever they apply for a job, whenever they're doing an interview, and maybe they're doing an internship, or they're actually working. These skills are already embedded, and so they have that to connect them. I think it's really cool to do these kind of design challenges, and it's really cool seeing that, like how your ideas can come to life, and how you can like produce those ideas, and then maybe it can actually like help like the real world problems. It made me realize that uh, one simple idea can change the whole world. 
See the rest of this video series for additional tips on facilitating systems design challenges. For more resources, go to thetech.org resources.